dimensional research. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem to actually affect anything. How do you get in there? It's not even on the map. Anyway, this looks like the other side of one of of this chamber that we've been in before. Maybe not the other side, but somewhere in the chamber. The possibly changing labyrinth. You can never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of security. I'm averse to using objects of power. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder, and those the binder invites, can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. To the squiggly bits. It's the start of the maze. It really creeps me out when that closes behind me because I wonder is it ever going to open again? Back to the beginning. Oh, what? Shatter projectile choke. Oh, it's a level three. Projectile spread minus 13%. Is that that good? I don't know. I mean, it's a level 3. It's got to be good, right? Health recovery per element pickup plus 37%. That's huge. So which one do I want to put it on? Health 23 or energy recovery speed 21? Hmm. Let's put it on health. Every time 
go through, it's different. Things are becoming like more fallen down and broken as I go and, and dirty. Not sure if anything's changing anymore. to be here yet. But I haven't tried going backwards. have something to do with all the paintings? I doubt it. Is there something in the paintings that would suggest something? more pass through. I don't think there's anything I can do here, but one more. What if I keep the map open? Am I like teleporting around at all? No. See, like that just moved when it opened. Does that mean something? Probably not. Okay, one more pass through looking at if any paintings move. Okay, forget it.
Music suggests there's still an enemy hanging around. Eh. Let's go to Pneumatics, major target, because I don't know what the reward for the last one was, so let's do this one. If it's not very good, then I won't do them all. Just as they come up, because they seem to be pretty frequent. But I'll check out the second one. And we're here. Jesus. Whoa! Oh -ho! Give me that sweet, sweet health. Oh my god. Once again, I didn't look at what the reward was. What was it? God, I'll have to check when I edit the episodes. <laughs> Back to the research sector. So, can't go into Ritual Division. We went everywhere we can go up. Right? Dimensional Research couldn't do anything. Dar Darling's office, done. So let's go downstairs. Ooh, nasty stuff. That must be one of those new enemies. They were in, like, a chair? Who are you? I'm just looking at the pictures. Wait. I didn't see them. Look like they're in a chair. Surely that'd be in the picture. Oh man, I could feel that one. Just want to look at him closer for a second. That is so creepy. Okay, I think it's just one of the ones that fly, but I guess there's different varieties. Love the launch ability so much. It's so powerful and so satisfying. Just the way this game plays and feels with the combat and the movement and the dash and everything. It feels really great. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? You can actually break the toilet off the ground and <laughs> spurts up water. Is there 
really nothing in here. I'm taking the toilet. efficiency. Level 3. Launch energy cost minus 14%. That's good, but I don't think that's better than what I currently have. I love how this looks in here. The lighting. The reflections and how you have the green light coming back from the plants. Beautiful. What's on the menu? Monday, cheese and vegetable stew, organic pasta, creamy salmon? Pasta? Tuesday, something and potato, salad, turkey and potato, Wednesday, spinach, crepes, lingonberry jam, and boiled potatoes. It's kind of, that sounds like a pretty weird combination. Thursday, pea soup, vegetable, fruits. Pancakes, vegetable, fruits. Friday, carrot, something. Curry and sour cream sauce. Chips, chicken nuggets, curry and sour cream sauce. <laughs> Not very secure. That one was glued on better. That is so satisfying. It's even rope physics simulation. Ooh, what do you think happens when I grab one of these? What do you think the rope's gonna do? Snap? Yeah, it snapped. Holds on a little bit, though but pretty easily breaks. That's really cool. Hubert, Black Rock Analysis. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong. Beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh yeah, I finished the comparative analysis of the two Black Rock samples you sent. The prism, or whatever you called it. I followed them in the usual place, under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks, or, or dinner even. Can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we can go together after work sometime? I'm free tomorrow. All the very best, Hubert. Didn't mean to do all that.
Still sounds like there's somebody alive. Oh. Was I? Like, really, where was I? Did I go back here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was heading over that direction. But first... Already been here, right? Yeah, of course. Did I go here though? No, I I haven't actually. Oh, I actually have access to that, and that's where we need to go, right? Parapsychology. Yeah. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. It's <laughs> just a random office light. This place is all jumbled up. Shit, I need some health. Emergency call supplement. Um, Ultra World Event 18. Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher. 911, what is your emergency? Hello. Uh, hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire. Towards you. Don't hang up. 
I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Note. Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. What the hell's happening in there? They kiss... Uh, kiss what? Do they, do they keep his research patients in here? What the hell? plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. The astral plan. I can construct pierce, precise with a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. And I can also upgrade it later. Most information on the astro. Let's replace the shatter for now. Don't have much for it. Zoom plus 13%. That sounds good. Consecutive kills boost. Damage after a kill plus 34%. That also sounds good, but it's only a level 1. Let's do the zoom plus 13%. Ooh, look at that. So it zooms in more, right? Let's see. So the top right corner when I'm zoomed in is almost to the corner of that staircase, if you see. Very top right. Oh yeah, that zooms in more. Whoa. Oh, you can charge it. Oh, actually, you have to charge it. If I just click it, just as that. So, two shots. Whoa! That looks and sounds and feels really cool. I... Go, whoa. That's weird. All the rubble aligned itself. It's doing it again. I think we found a new altered object. Yeah, I can't wait to use this thing. Basically, it seems to be the equivalent of a sniper.
Whoa. Is that a model of a place in the astral plane? Astral Exhibition. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the Astral... <laughs> astral Knots to use as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the... We decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming convention has been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Is that the entity in the astral plane that they were talking about? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place. Not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. A apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. I wonder if that being is similar at all to what's hitched a ride with us. Although obviously ours is not violent. So we need to contain this thing. I'm not exactly sure what all these buttons do, though, to be honest. A little... too hectic. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna do that one. That's where we just came from, right? No. No, it's not. So we're trying to contain it in there. Oh, it needs power. Oh, 
Okay, come in here. still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. I love this weapon. Precognitive powers. Let's just take a break here. Nadine, send this to research for analysis regarding my precognitive powers. Urgent. Dr. Darling, last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I've been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here, but I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and as such, offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. Signed, Mr. Francis Bertram.
cleanse this damn place. What are these ghostly screams that I'm hearing? Let's go back to the main quest, by the way. Astral Spike. We already saw that, right? An early hypothesis was that- Yes. His Cluster. Oh, I've not read that. His clusters are unique in that they're concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. A giant model of a brain. Okay, these screams though. Sounds like they're coming from the walls, just like kind of everywhere. Groupthink. This study extends the work, the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of and Love reading those redacted bits. <laughs> Makes for a very awkward reading. Still need quite a bit more to upgrade the piers. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. More of you? Really? I'll come down right away. Where's this? Oh, is this back to the, oh yeah, this is back to the main floor.
So then this would just be going through the whole thing again. Yeah, there's the light in the wall. Okay. All right, all right, Marshall, I'm coming. It's really weird to have their name be Marshall. It's not that common of a name. It seems to be especially uncommon as a first name. It's my first name, but it's this character's last name. Sorry, I'm just admiring the green lights and stuff on them. And how the green lights on them is... Uh, the green lights are, like, reflecting on the screen, kind of. A little bit of dust on the lens. The lens of our... Eyes, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought that looked familiar, that person over there. We've been here. Yeah, this is that place that I got to that I obviously should not have. That's why it seemed like it was weird and there was nothing here. I was right. Pretty tired. Been blessed with good luck. And riches. Have I mentioned this game looks really, really good? Wait, what did I just... Did I just pick that? Oh, right, it's the luck and probability. Money cat, good luck. That's a four-leaf clover. <laughs> I can take it and put it back. I mean, God, if anybody needs good luck, I think it's me. I'll take it. There you are. I was starting to worry. Horseshoe, when it's facing up, gathers up green stuff, and when you face down, it drops all the green stuff. Holy shit. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Okay. What's the situation? Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to clear out the hiss, see if we can get some more HRAs constructed.